Hello again and welcome to Wow Crochet. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to, it's more of a quick tip rather than um, a project, um, how to maybe do a first foundation row of your double crochets without ending up losing or having too many chains at the beginning. So let's say for argument's sake you are chaining on about 120 and you've accidentally chained on 119. Then you go and do all your double crochets across and you realise you're one short. And you think, oh, I've got to take all these rows undone, add that extra chain, come all the way back again, and I've lost an hour doing so, or a half an hour, whichever, however long it takes you to do 120 stitches. Well, this tutorial is going to show you how to leave the extra three chains or four chains on an end. So when you get to here, all you have to do is undo those chains and tighten it there and it's neither here nor there and no one's none the wiser okay that's all this tutorial is about so without further ado let's get started all right so here we go for the purpose of the tutorial today we're going to be using a 10 ply cotton it's pomegranate it calls for a size four and a half millimeter hook today i'm using a five so you can see my nice tight stitches <laughs> um, don't forget if you're going to make a larger product of anything uh, to check the dye lot and the shade you need to make sure the dye lot is the same if you are going to make a large blanket or it will look patchy okay but we're not doing that today today is quick tip day okay I'm just going to chain on um, let's see I'm going to chain on about 20 okay so one two three four five so chain on 20 and i'll meet you up all right so what i want you to do you've got your 20 stitches let's just make this a little closer now we're going to put a double crochet in one two three in the third chain from hook as we would normally whoops there we go <laughs> get it right mary <laughs> okay and a double crochet Let's say we want to double crochet 50, oh, sorry about that. We only want to double crochet 15 double crochets all together, all right? So we'll include that one as one double crochet, those chains, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about that my yarn my apologies seven eight nine ten yeah we'll do 15 see how we go from there and then I'll show you the tip 11 12 13, 14, 15. Now we'll do 18. 16, 17. All right, we'll, no, we'll leave it at 17. All right, so let's say your item called for, your project called for 17 double trip double triples <laughs> double crochets okay um but you say it was 2017 say we've double crocheted 2017 right um and we were two chains short you would have to have taken undone all those double crochets add it on your two chains and then go back again that would probably lose you depending on how fast or slow you are probably lose you about half an hour to an hour depending on how many stitches you had you had let's say you did have 2017 double crochets to put in all right a little bit far-fetched but <laughs> let's just say you did okay so this way you've done your 2017 you've got all these little chains left you think uh oh I've got too many chains left but that can be fixed so what you do whenever you have a pattern that says uh, chain up uh, 150 chain up 153 or 154 chain up those few extras because you can fix those chains and I'm about to show you how okay so here we have 
just your average darning needle or you could even use a sewing needle it doesn't really matter so what we're going to do we've got our spare chains we don't need all these chains do we all right so what you could do is you pull out you probably don't even need that to be honest with you I just use a darning needle to make it easier but I have nails and I'm happy to use my nails so you just pull out your thread if you want to use your darning needle it's there pull it out now just be weary when you're doing this that your stitches are going to be loose here okay and you don't want to lose stitches so you're still pulling it out don't tighten anything just gently pull that out you've pulled out two remember we had three extra so we're going to pull it might have had four extra I can't remember so I'm going to pull out this next one and then we'll have a look at it that's where we need to be so you just give it a tug nice and tight and there you have it so you've officially adjusted it and it's taken you no more than what a couple of seconds I couldn't even tell you 10 seconds who knows but that is the tip so what you do just like normal you do your normal turning around or you chain up three whatever you want to do one two and three and two whoops and turn and just continue on at the end of your project you always always weave in this last end or the first end I should say that you started with and all you need to do is just weave it in and out of there or weave it in and out of there whichever place you like to and it's still kept in place okay that's just a quick tip so that you don't have to waste half an hour or an hour like I have done so in the past thank you so much for watching if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up don't forget to click like and um, subscribe to the YouTube channel and press that little bell button so you can receive further tutorials. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.